Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we will create an April Fool's Day video in Toonly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. I've always loved April Fool's Day. It's a great excuse to have some fun and play practical jokes on your friends. For today's video, we're going to have a fictional company and they're going to give their followers a coupon code to use. But the prank is, is we're going to make it upside down and mirrored. So our viewers are going to have to work for this code. They're going to need to tilt their head upside down or tilt their phone up upside down and then view it in a mirror. So how are we going to do all that? How are we going to make our video upside down and our coupon mirrored? Well, that's what we're going to do today. The first thing that I would like to start with is just a very simple background. Okay, because you can't really manipulate the backgrounds in Toonly, so we can't turn it, the background upside down. So that's why I have just this wall here. And then I want to choose a character that can point because I want to have the character pointing at the coupon code. So we'll just add a new scene and we're going to recreate that. So background, just a plain background. So if you go down here, there's several different walls you can choose from. Let's just take a different one. And that's fine. That's just kind of generic. Okay. And then we're going to go to our characters tab and we're going to search not by character, but by animation, because not all characters point. So I'm going to type in point, and I liked the pointing hand and explaining. And these are the characters that you can use that will be able to point to your coupon code. So I did like her. I'm going to use her. And I do want her to be fairly large. And then let's go ahead and extend this. Let's make this, let's make it a nine second scene. By default, she's idle. So let's go to settings and we want to choose pointing hand and explaining. And so if we hit play, you'll see she comes on and she points. And that's what we want. I'm okay with her bouncing in, but I don't really want her to bounce out at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, go to settings. And for our out effect, let's just choose instant. And now we need to turn her upside down and position her. So here's what I had in mind, right? I want her pointing like this. To turn her upside down, we just go to that right corner and get that rounded double headed cursor. And now we want to move her over here, okay? It'd be something like that. And then we'll have our coupon come in over here. So let's just take a look. Okay. Now, how do we get this coupon? I'm going to use Pix because it's part of the Boomly Cloud family, just like Toonly and Dootly are. So I'm just going to go ahead and start here. I'm going to start with a new project, custom image, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a rectangle. So 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click create. And you may have noticed that I have this dummy um, coupon here. This is just a screenshot I grabbed off of freepick.com. I'm going to use this as inspiration, basically. I'm going to create my own coupon, but I kind of liked a colored circle over here and then the rectangle for the code. So that's what I'm doing. So in Picks, you have a shape tool. And I'm going to start with a rectangle and I want it to be white. And I don't want a stroke color, so I'm going to turn that off. And now I'm just going to draw my rectangle. Something like that's good. I thought I turned this off. Maybe I didn't. There we go. And then I liked the little um, rectangle within. So I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to add a new rectangle to this new layer. So I'm going to give it a stroke color. And I'm going to turn off the fill color. And it goes like that. And that's where we're going to type in our discount code. And then I wanted kind of that circular shape over here. So now I want to turn this to a circle. And I want to turn off my stroke and change my fill color. Let's go to blue because we're kind of recreating that. 
And let's see, here's my circle. Move it over here. And now I can kind of stretch it out a little, make it more of an oval shape. Do something like that. Let's go ahead and crop this now. You see these little teal markers in the corners. So we just want to position them like so and hit apply. Okay, so now I have basically this part, okay, that's created. So let's go ahead and click the text tool. And I'm going to go ahead and type in whatever my code is going to be. So let's just type it right now. April Fool 2023. And let's make it larger and maybe bold. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Move the text just, just a touch. This is where the magic is coming in. We're going to flip our text. Okay, so now they have to look in a mirror for that. And that's fine. So let's add some more text. And then again, we're going to want to flip this. So the way you do that is you get back to your little move tool and then you get these controls. So that's fine like that. And then let's add one more line of text. Let's make it black. And then how about their website address? So, okay, let's go ahead and export this. Let's go back into Toonly. So objects, upload new object. And we're going to add the file that we just created. Now let's go find it. Come on, here it is. It's a little large, so let's go ahead and zoom out. And let's shrink it to size. And we want this to be upside down just like she is. So you take your, go up to the corner, it turns into a little curved arrow. And let's just make sure it's there. And then we can move it just like that. Now we need to decide where it's going to appear. We'll have it come in pretty early, like a second and a half in. And we'll have it go all the way to the end. And we're going to click settings and I would like it to be instant out. So it just stays on the screen, just like she does. And let's have a hand drop it into place. So click the hand effect and then the gear icon. And I want it to look like it's coming from the top, but remember this is upside down. So we're going to have the hand come in from the bottom like this. So it's going to look like so. Thump. So let me get rid of my first scene. That was just my little title sequence. Okay, we are almost done. If you'd like, we could add a little voiceover explaining to people what they need to do or just saying happy April Fools or whatever. So to do that, you go down here to the microphone section and you're going to click your little microphone button getting a countdown. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Get a 20% off discount with this code today only. Okay, so that's my voiceover. I think that's fine. And we're basically done. So let's go ahead and export this video and I'll show it to you upside down and in the mirror. So here we go. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Get a 20% off discount with this code today only. And there you have it. That's how you can use Toonly and Pix to create an April Fool's Day discount code video this year for April Fool's. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.